watching now or later, and welcome to Hilly himself with me, Hillian, along with... The hunger that here, this devourer of sandwiches! Uh, he says that because uh, I just finished dinner with a burger I sent him a picture of. <laughs> but that I'm eating, uh, I'll start eating on one of my two sandwiches. Uh, <laughs> we, we should probably make that a... A redeemable thing at some point or <laughs> to throw the Kira sandwich, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, please. Uh, yeah, welcome to Minecraft again, and let's go see who the one other person on the server is. And from there, uh, we could probably start digging out uh, a, a dwarven hot no, a, a base in the stone area. And let's see, it's oh, it's it is okay. I, I thought that's <laughs> I. On the on the login screen earlier, I held my mouse over the number and it said Scout Primer, and I presumed that was like a provider or something. Uh, what the? Is that a cat on top of my? Oh wait, it's from the game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, you up much? Uh, not much. Uh, yeah, you're watching me now. Uh, like I said, we could start digging around and maybe explore a bit. Okay, a lush cave. Oh, yeah, one of those. I, thought, I, think, oh yeah, I think I remember telling you there was about the, the amethyst and moss, but I think I forgot to tell you there are lush caves. Okay. This should be out by now. These two are still here. Uh, let's drop off as much stuff as we can. Once more. And... Gonna, yeah, I did... It's gonna fall me. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll interrupt you. Uh, yeah, you go ahead first. Uh, I was saying, it's gonna be funny. I listened to a, few, a bit of music uh, before uh, joining now. And it's gonna fit into this contract that you're about to build a home inside this mountain, correct? Yep. Well, one uh, better than this here. Yeah, and the song I listened to was named King of the Mountain. <laughs> and it has a really nice drift to it. How close does right under it? Anyways, let's take one of these with. I should probably come up with names for them. <laughs> well, how many cats do you have in real life? Uh, two. Technically, you could count it as four, since there are two neighborhood cats that tend to hang around. Well, you have plenty of options right there. Oop. And since we ah, don't on. sadly have enough to see anything like a table dragon in this game as of yet. Even though they seem to have had, they had, seem to have had plans to allow you to hatch the nether dragon egg. Just not going to go to them for yet, apparently. Okay. And the cat is MIA. Okay, I should heal, but first let's deal with these two. Oh, with the knees. There we go. Anyone in there should be blocked. Okay. Um, seeing as this doesn't... Oh, that that's of course doesn't help if there's a big-ass opening like that. <laughs> there we go. And then down here as well. And I think I just heard an Enderman. I just saw a door. What, what, what is it? Uh, basically, Did I was you? planning on. I, basically, I put this up as a, yeah, a way to get into this area without accident, uh, at least sealing it in, off entirely. So you did the, the thing I suggested you to do then. For when I asked you to do that, you said uh, I just I just gonna block it up fully. Yeah, that was before then, I believe. I, I did that on my own at point at one point. <laughs> okay. Now, we were thinking about just basically taking over this mine shaft. Aren't you supposed to be uncommon or anything, you little 
Okay, we might die here. Because I forgot that freaking heal. I'm pretty sure these zombie kids were supposed to be less common. And I actually just realized I forgot to start up the freaking text program. Or chat program. So let's do that for a moment. Connect. Make it see-through. And then I can just... Okay, it can... Oh, there's the cat now, all of a sudden. You hit the cat! Uh, yeah, let's go on. Get out of there. I'm going to seal that off. Good kitty. Yeah. Be careful <laughs> now. One's out. Try to not hit the cat again. Yeah. There we go. I'm not going to use the clean stone just yet. For now, it's mostly about just, yeah, making a starting air, a start area. And this place should finally be safe-ish. Hopefully. They got all the copper that we find just for decoration if need be. Okay, that's a lot of copper. <laughs> All right, with the cats following us, we should be safe from any creepers sneaking up on us. Then we only need a wolf to deal with the zombies. Some of it is falling down, but oh well. This is going to be... Oop. Oh, we almost fell down as well. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stick with just playing cobble for the moment. Uh, we can fix it up with something better looking later. Now we just need to beacon off our territory and clean it out. Of course, it wants to in. <laughs> These copper veins really are just big. And I should have brought spare pickaxes. <laughs> I uh, don't have enough wood for a chest, so actually, you sit here, so we don't lose him <laughs> along the way downstairs again. And, yeah. Probably best to move a few chests up there as well, just so we don't have to keep running back and forth for this either. Probably a good idea. Um, how does it feel to realize that copper is not as rare as you thought? It wasn't that I thought it was rare, it's more... I don't see much use in it. Yeah, so far, people only using it for decoration. To a very good effect. Okay, already out of storage space. Let's see. there and might as well get some more wood as well let's uh, ensure that we have as much storage as we can have at the moment uh, you should probably replant yep uh, also something i found out after looking through <clears throat> looking through the streams of others for a bit it seems that Corofel moved out. Uh, you know that house that we were close to, uh, to next to the uh, next to Anno's uh, village uh, on yeah. this side of the uh, of this side of the bridge. Uh, yeah, apparently, yeah. <laughs> apparently she moved into the attic of that. Okay. And for some reason, it seems that the tracking program is being slow. Hmm. Is there anything else running to slow this down? OBS, VZ Face, Chatty, Discord, and Minecraft. So there shouldn't 
odds. Okay. Well, indeed. Oh, wait. You do would know what day it is today, right? It's a Friday. Friday the. No, oh, Friday the thirteenth. That that just happened so little that I just never remember it any. Not that I care either. Yeah, it, it is random. <laughs> and so, and before people start panicking, we've been having a quite a good day so far. Yeah, we finished off watching Castlevania, the Netflix series. Yeah, damn good. Do I do wonder how well it would have been if they had a... All right. Thank you for following, <laughs> thank you for following, uh, following uh, Torva Firma. <laughs> and yeah, we also worked on our alerts a bit. <laughs> so yeah, that was Monty Python. <laughs> yeah, that, that reminds me, have you seen the Holy Grail? I've seen most of it. I've seen mostly fragments, but I, I, I've seen enough parts of it to have mostly seen anything. And hello oh. in the chat there. And okay, just Torfa. And actually, yeah, that's I could just do that as well. I could look to OBS and see the chat right above me here. And yeah, I don't even need the, I don't even need the chat program anymore, actually. Yeah, uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, hope you all enjoy the show. Uh, and if not, uh, you're always free to leave uh, at your own time, of course. Yeah. Welcome, Torva. And yeah, as Ina said, may you enjoy this show, where as hopefully some craziness may happen, <laughs> considering yes. he lives luck. Yeah. Uh, definitely should get rid of a lot of this wheat. <laughs> More than enough seeds. Uh, let's take some andesite, not deep slate. Yeah, they, you really think they'd have had, they'd have put a, some sort of sorting system into the core game by now, but still, nope. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Our plans for I... today is to try and dig out a better base than, uh, well, in the rock hard deep slate down there, which is taking ages. Basically, we're. Yep. We're thinking about just digging behind the staircase here and building a base there. Likely a very good idea. And also, I saw really recently, and uh, seems there are plans to add a search system. Another search, a sorting system that you can just look in a box, push a button, and that it sorts itself out instead of having to do it manually. Yeah, I think I must mention along with it. Do I might be wrong? All right. We'll have to see because, yeah, Mojang is very slow with bringing out updates to this game. Well, again, at least they're the... updating now for... Yeah. Bloody heck, it came out, there was basically almost no update for years. They decided to do a lot of updates. <laughs> yeah, big updates as well. Uh, yeah, still this here. Going to try and avoid most of this. Though I do want that iron over there. Oop, oop. But uh, yeah, how are you doing then, Torva? You had a good day? I'm definitely hearing an enderman. Anything else around here? Nope, oh, creeper. Might as well put that down. I don't get why they sometimes just prematurely detonate like that. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it was great. How's your day been? Uh, pretty good, pretty lazy. Uh, Friday is my day off for the foreseeable future. Yeah, so, yeah, of course, I'm going to be lazy. Oh. Yeah, my day has been great as well. Just uh, relaxing my leg. I apparently woke up a bit wrong with it one morning. I've just been relaxing, watching series, watching series with Hillian, uh, Hillian here, and chatting with people. That's great. 
Yeah, we're thinking of giving Genlock a try next. See how that does. I've I've wanted to watch that for a while. I've heard that it's supposed to be good. But yeah, there's often a difference between hearing something is good and well seeing if it is. And if it's not, then we're probably going to yeah, we're going to <laughs> we're going to watch uh, Clone War the Clone War series. Uh, yeah, it's yep. a it's a Rooster Teeth production, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I have no I, no not much idea what the unlock is uh, personally, but it's the first time I heard of it today, actually. Now, I forget the specifics about it, but it is in part a mecha uh, series. Something about invading aliens, uh, gen-locked material, that, so that's a bunch of goofballs who are certainly not supposed to be in control of that, or in control of it without being able to relinquish control of it. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of uh, mecha anime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, let's see if we can dig a past between these points. I should have probably brought a shovel as well. But oh well. Digging with a stick. Now, that's over there. Uh, I don't have a bucket to clean this up. Oop. Okay. <laughs> that caught me by surprise. Uh, where is it coming from up here? This area looks like it could make a good uh, area to build in, since, well, yep. it's mostly dug out already. Yep. There we go. Just a quick check this way. Oh, that's an enderman. That's a <clears throat> yeah. creeper, and there's a spider, which yeah, can't pass through here. Don't look at the enderman and I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we know a trick of how to deal with them. Okay. Just widen this out a bit. I'll probably go with uh, three by three area passageways for the moment here. And we can have a bit of a pattern on the floor as well. Mostly just Two lines on the side and a line down the middle. Yeah, that could be nice. What hmm. are you doing? Actually, it might actually be better to just use this as the base floor instead of building up on everything. <laughs> that would waste a lot of time. Yeah, like, you, you can make a prettier floor, but it, it works just as well as a starting floor. Yeah. Just need to make some stairs there, really. Yeah, Genlock's on its second series, or second season, volume. We like to use a lot of different terms for that. Uh, yeah. I think volume is only used for... Uh, Books and not series, uh, animated series. Uh, Ruby uses that. Okay. But then again, it's more fairy tale inspired, so it makes sense as well. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Is there mm. a spider next to you? Maybe on the other side of the wall. Again, might actually be more useful to <laughs> go with the flow of this. Never mind, we've dug out enough already on this side. Might as well finish it off. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that about matches now. <clears throat> Clean up the ceiling some. And then we widen the other side a bit. And then we can work on sealing off this area here. Let's not forget right. these. Actually, I can just stick them there. And I should probably have put my helmet back on. 
Yeah, we don't want to age off the situation. The Enderman thing mistake you for another Enderman. <clears throat> Pardon? <clears throat> like I said, <laughs> just finished dinner. Oh. And Ink has uh, snuck her way into the room. And now she's looking behind her as if she's being chased or something. <laughs> because she is. There's Oscar. Is there about to be a cat brawl in your, your room? <laughs> nope. Let's see. They're just standing next to each other. And she moves away. <laughs> he moves the other way. And now she's eyeing the door again. And instead, he just leaves first. <laughs> and, well, that was clearly pretty easily. And now Ink is moving outside of my peripheral vision. So she's probably climbing or crawling underneath the bed. Guess I know what she's planning to do. Jump scare. Let's see if I remember correctly. Yep. We can combine andesite together to make polished andesite. Which cannot... Yep, yep. She's crawling underneath the bed. We might use polished andesite for building. Yeah, that could... Hmm. That could Actually, be nice. Seems, I don't know. It seems like a lot of the good. walls here is made out of it. Hmm. You could use it for flooring. Yeah, that would probably look very nice as a floor. There, there, one there. And for security, one down here. Let me grab this while I'm here as well. Lapis isn't really... Actually, Lapis is needed for enchanting, so that is a reason to keep yeah, to get it. Alright. Pick that up. Hmm. Should I fill this up? Or leave it in? Hmm. The question, question will be what to have there. Yeah, it could be a little alcove with stuff in it, like uh, an enchanting corner, maybe. And Ink has oh, yes, gone out the room as well. Could just be a good spot to park your horse. Yeah, if we do manage to catch one at one point. No, I definitely should make it. Actually, I have enough here. There we go. Uh, where is the... I thought I brought a lot of iron with me, or did I accidentally put it away or something? Huh. Yeah, you might actually... Put... Yeah, I must have put it away. Might... Yeah, you probably did that by mistake. Might as well drop this off. Actually, there. We should probably decorate with andesite and granite. Just gray and red. Wait, granite is red here? Yep. I'm pretty sure granite is supposed to be almost black. Well, we already have deep slate for that. Hmm. Okay, there and there. You away. Should probably make a spare sword because the one we have is about to break. Ooh. Any. Yep. 
I should probably expand this. Or make another field to, well, get more food. Because it, it's pretty clear how fast we can go through it. Yeah, hopefully you should, should be able to mm -hmm. dig out a hole up there as a farming area. Hmm. The archive is too small for that. Now then, let's see. <coughs> oh, hello. No visitors yet. There we go. Beheaded. What's this? Drip oh, dripstone block. Okay. We should probably block this off. No, what makes you say that? Okay. That's it. Yeah, it'll do for now. It... Spiders are going to find another way up anyways. I could just always just fill it up with gravel. Okay, but that actually startled me. Well, that means the zombie is doing a good job. There we go. I should seal this off as well. Of course, I place a torch on a gravel block and instantly it falls down. So much copper! I, I would not be surprised if we have so much copper that we could make an entire house of it. <laughs> Probably. Maybe we should try that. Uh, I think we, we definitely used the copper as a decoration for like a pillar, uh, well, several pillars in this case. Uh, yeah, we'll have to make this space clear for it first, though. Hmm. Okay, dead end. And hopefully when we do some more ad actual adventuring... Since, well, you remember the last time we were trying to do adventure. <laughs> yeah, we kind of... Well, we did take some dis... We did get some distance, but not much. <laughs> yeah, it was a very... Sim... Oversimplified adventure. If only you can call it that. <laughs> There we go. Oh, uh, Bissar Thorvald, thank you for yawning. Yeah, have a nice day. And thank you for visiting all the same. Let's see. Let's first just clear out this part of the wall to where we have a square room. Not really a square, but still. Yeah, it actually goes. dropped down. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, Torva. And we hope you have a good day. Thank you. And yeah, see you. See you when next we see you. There. Okay. Let's see. I think if yeah, the, the other side doesn't stick out enough yet. So we 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 could just keep digging this way until we run into the next cave. So instead, okay. Oh, I just remember something. Uh, you remember the video sent me about the uh, the. The Dutch gnomes? Kouter? Yeah, Kabouters. Kabouters? I was a video, it was a kind of catchy song, but I noticed something right away. 
No. Oh. Your gnomes have quite different hats uh, compared to the uh, other gnomes as in, in other folklore. Uh, it's also in that show that they're different. Uh, the typical Dutch uh, gnome also has the red hats. I was more of... The, but your gnomes had to look more like yester hats, but everyone else is just... Either just long or just very pointy. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it, that show uh, it doesn't use the typical uh, yeah, gnome hat with that, and we're out of... Ah, out of okay, porches. so they just, they just decided to be different. Yeah, there's also another... Um, there's also a comic character called David the Gnome. I'm not sure if they are Dutch by origin or not, but they do use... Uh, they do have the typical hat. David the Gnome. Interesting name. <laughs> <laughs> Very descriptive. Let me guess, his nemesis is named uh, Goliath the uh, Titan or something. I know. Kill him, dude! Kill him. Yeah, well we can, done. We can work on uh, restoring villagers once we've got a freaking cow. <laughs> All right. Now we should. Yep, there we go. And then we can just continue from here. Actually, one, two. Yeah, I, I thought I heard something off, but yeah, it's zombie villager. Though that did look a bit more special than the typical ones. Yeah, I think that was a special one. Like if you resurrected him, he may have been a merchant. Probably okay. the one that sends you the map. Yeah, we can make maps ourselves. Yeah, we just need redstone and iron to make compasses. Yeah, do I think they said completed map? Or, they, or, or they said something else? But I recall the Monkle is special. And many YouTubers value them a lot. Okay. <laughs> well, if I did just make an absolute uh, idiot move there, feel free, to <laughs> feel free to notify me. Oh, dear. I wonder if there's something we can do with dripstone. We can probably make our own <laughs> stalactites with that. You can. <clears throat> and we regrow. And I think they can fall down and kill. I did not ex actually expect that to work. Uh, so we could make... <laughs> that's how you grow them. <laughs> what the? Um... Uh... <laughs> Okay, Goldilocks, get lost. <laughs> and the phone is reacting to that. Like, and somehow he'd read that as join Latin Discord server. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's voice recognition stuff being stupid. Also listening in when I'd rather not have it not, but oh well. Um, I'll dig this out and then I'll go make a bunch more torches. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, with streams next week, we should be able to finish up with Beyond Good and Evil. Um, there shouldn't be much, if any, bonus content on that. Like, we could go looking for all the missing creatures, uh, but there isn't much story value to that. I will try to get enough creatures photographed to, um, <clears throat> to get that last M disc to see if there's anything special on that. I think I remember what it is. I think it's a mini game, uh, One that I've never managed to finish because it's designed for a 
a two-stick controller. <laughs> okay. Because, this... yeah, remember, Beyond Good and Evil was originally on the Xbox. But beyond that, we should be done by then. And uh, let's see, I know I've written down a schedule somewhere. Um, uh, yeah, that, then we'll be moving on to another game that I've played a lot back in the day, which you could say was part of my childhood. Uh, the Smurfs. No. <laughs> Though I did see their show quite a bit. Yeah, same. I kind of liked Smurfs as I uh, when I was a very kid, but good gods, were people milking the Smurfs later on? Yeah, with from what the... I've heard, the movies are awful. Yeah, the movies are awful. The games were... Uh, okay, do I want to play one? But... They had a lot of music hits. Basically, tons of smooth parodies of popular songs. And we had a... We had an artist who made a song about the Smurfs. Uh, in Dutch, Father Abraham. In English, Father Abraham. And it was a pretty good catchy song, and it, of course it was also a, an old song, because, yeah, who in these days would <laughs> use Father Abraham as an artist's name? Okay. Oh uh, yeah, a simple but catchy song. Well, it sounds more tolerable, like, for some reason I loved this movie for songs as a kid, but as I grow older, I start to, I start to uh, think about the lyrics, I feel like... That's actually as painful. <laughs> For all of the various parodies of popular songs that I just chains around and smurf to and all that. Yeah, that's just lazy. Yeah, like sort of uh, oh, sort of clever, but for many just uh, why why yeah, you can I only think... see a card trick so many times before you get sick of it. Yeah, do I think yeah, I think all of them were Swedish. <laughs> okay. With maybe some exception, but many of them were Swedish. I'm thinking we could keep this as a staircase area, maybe? Yeah, maybe. You're probably gonna need a... ...basement. You already have a basement monster. <laughs> Let's see, clear this out a bit. Now then. Um, let's actually go ahead. look for the, the staircase. Let's see. You found it. I think we could push it to here. Oh, Need any further sure. read? And beyond that, we'd probably break into the staircase itself. Yeah, I think we would have hit it by now. Instead, we break our pickaxe. I take your pick of a new pickaxe. They accidentally upon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, for a cruel world! Yeah. So now let's see if this will break through. Probably not because we're about uh, two thirds of the way through. Oop. Okay, easy enough. I am concerned. I heard something there. I don't know whether it was a, a distant echo of the cat or something. There we go. Hmm. Oh yeah, you, you're really making this big. I, I think I'll not dig it out all from here to there. Hmm. So yeah, this it, was a bit oh, not needed, really. 
Yeah, try not to over do overkill as well, otherwise just more work. Yep. No, you're gonna probably need a place for a stable air of a chicken and a pig's farm. Yeah, we could probably do that below. It'll mean we'll have to lure it down a lot further as well, but it will. But you do have a, bit, a stairway down already, and you have a path next to you also uh, for that. Yeah. No, just recessing. Actually, not there. Lower. Recessing these in a bit for the stairs that will come on. Well, that will be put on them. Hmm. I think I will dig out this bit. Because if I block it off, it'll give this a very low ceiling, and I do not like low ceilings. <laughs> yeah, nor do I. I don't like we have a uh, too much of a ceiling either. Mm. That is when it looks like there's no structural support to keep the roof up. Yeah. Then I just go, right, I need a second floor of a lot of support pillars. For those, this is gonna bother me. There. Hmm. We have room above us here, so we could make a loft. See? A underground loft? Really? Wait. Mm. Can you have a loft underground? I'm not. I'm not familiar enough with structural terms <laughs> to give a good answer on that. The same. So maybe not stupid or not. I don't know at this moment. But I do know that there's something missing here. Uh, we could put up something here, like a map or something, maybe. Oh, wait, uh, I was just referring to that we we missing a certain song. The diggy diggy hole. Correct. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you, you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that I like the original one. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, I like I like the original, but there's uh, a cover that was made by a professional band, and Windrose. that version, yeah, I do not like that version at all. Uh, I find it okay, but they have made other songs I find better. For it is a good band. Yes, the other songs I find, feel like are better than that one. Yeah, they're the too they serious made... for the uh, for this song, I'd say. Yeah, that, they are very serious, but they do a lot of good uh, Lord of the Rings cover and all that, and their own song. The latest one that is very good is Gates of Ekerund. Okay. Very good music video to it as well. And I still need to look source... at the latest uh, Sabaton songs. Oh yeah, many released new songs there. But yeah, I really, really recommend watching the Gates of Ekerund. It's probably right. one of the few videos you get to see dwarfs with hand cannons <laughs> and rifles. And, and, and by that I mean the kinds of ones you will see dwarfs use regularly in fantasy. Alright. I'll find some use for that. For now, uh, let's put up a small barricade like this. Uh Okay, mm. uh, I'm sure that's count as barricade, and not like a bunker wall. Let's put them there. there. This way, nothing is getting through. <laughs> Fencing off. Yep, not enough. Uh, yeah, there's still things that could spawn around here. I do wonder if we have enough. We could use this as an area to just uh, make a pond. 
Uh, yes, we'll... Yeah, I, I believe for fishing you only need like a two by two hole, I think. Yeah, do it would just be nice to have a proper little pond for fishing and just just have some source of water. Okay. That's where it would look nice. And who, and who knows? You may need to swim. I think you mean a bath. Yeah. A bath. Considering how many zombies and spiders and whatnot you kill. Actually, I think that connects back to everything. Yep, so it's smarter to block this off. And that, just in case anything tries to squeeze through that. <laughs> Yeah, I can see us make a decoration like this around, just instead of wood, maybe something more dwarven. Um, I don't know if we can make wall pieces with the copper and our inventory is full. Well, the coppers are cubes, so you can use them as pillar or wall, so whatever, almost. Let's keep those with us. Yeah, zombie villager head. Savage. Uh, let's see. Even the cat agrees with me that you are savage. <laughs> oh, come on. You can't take all the on that. Yeah, that looks silly. I agree with you, cat. Uh, let's see. Any coal? No coal. I kind of wonder. Imagine a situation where you don't have a headphone on to play this game with that NPC cat meowing. How would your actual cats react to that? <laughs> I don't think they would. They don't actually seem to react. To uh, sounds on TV and such. That's probably a good sign. Yeah, they've probably grown a bit numb to noises and such. Yeah, they probably learned to differentiate that what's a real cat and what's a fake cat. Though it is always nice to see kittens going after things like that on screens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, lately, see? people have been posting pictures, not, not pictures, but uh, videos on Reddit of kittens being given, like, a, a toddler game to keep them busy. What thing is it? It's also something like that. Okay. Yeah, I, I mistook the little pop of smoke from the gravel for a spider web. Okay, here we go. Reminds me. I actually seen a video where someone has talked their cat to, to fetch, play dead, roll around. Yeah, you, I think you see the pattern here. Yeah. It, it, you can't train cats. It, it is a bit more difficult than dogs, I believe. But it's just a simple way. It's just a simple thing of... Uh, yeah, instruction and reward. Yeah. Then again, I think so much it gave lessons to a rabbit to play dead and all that. Okay. And also, someone teached a rabbit to do push ups on a man's palm. <laughs> Basically, they lay yeah. on the back in his hand and they start doing push-ups. Or, I mean, pull-ups. Some people just get way too bored. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I've am i been more impressed by the bunny. Just to be able, able to do that, but it was not a small bunny. No. Go. Oh, I just had an evil idea. Hmm? Introducing Oscar and Ink to a Welsh giant bunny. <laughs> yeah, they'd be properly outsized by that. 
because those yeah. things can get pretty freaking big, big, I think. Yeah, and I heard people describe that having those giant bunnies is basically having the, the most relaxing dog ever. <laughs> there again, they are so big they can basically defend themselves. There we go. Oh, we can make copper bricks, stairs, and slabs. Okay, and hello. No, you're Let not getting in. in. Come on. I got something for you. Oh, oh come on. More fences. You little rascal. <laughs> it, it, it looks like we put him behind bars. Hmm. Yeah, that looks nice. Everything's getting cleared up. It will be a bit expensive with uh, how each block takes up nine of these. But oh well. True, there's, pl but... there's plenty around. Yeah, we have tons. And it, they all meant just to be more used as a decoration at the current state. So like, if you were to make pillars, like one on top, one on bottom, and between stone or wood, The stone probably looks better, I guess, in this case. Yeah. Then at least we, we, can, we can try for a mix of uh, clean stone, andesite, and granite. And we store those yep. here. Let's see. Might as well pick up all of them that we have. Uh, Diorite. I, f I forgot about diorite. That's also a thing. Um, diorite. I misheard you there. I misheard you. There we go. I thought you said diarrhea. <laughs> and you really need to get your ears checked out. Yeah, no, I, I would be mishearing as much as before. All right, let's have a little look at how these look. Mm, these look a bit more, yeah, dirty. Maybe we could use those as a middle line or sorts. I really, really like the ones in the middle on top. The, the granite on bottom looks... And that just looks like it's made of dirt or something. Mm -hmm. Or made of clay? Let's see. Now we have one of these. There we go. There. All right. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, then we know what we'll be using for the stair bits. Though we'll probably have to find quite a bit more since we have the least of it at the moment. Uh, uh, hmm. We could have more stored downstairs. Yep, yeah, but I think I remember something. I think you can use any stone to make a forge. Yeah, I for think so. Uh, let's do Wrong. that put that to the test i forgot if it changed its color like yeah, you can't when, mix them up at it, least yeah you can mix them up you like if you're gonna make a uh, one you need of the same one or as if, if you recall there's some stone structures like the furnace or such that will change color hmm. Yeah, we'll have to wait. look into that. It, wait, it might be the workbench. Uh, workbenches, I don't think, change color based on the type of wood used. Hmm. I know something is doing that. I recall it, it, it was mentioning it. There we go. Let's flatten this out a bit. 
And then we can use this as a bit of a domed area. So we'll have to seal this off. Hmm. I'll have to look. There's a... I know that there are multiple tools that will uh, line out how to make circles in Minecraft. We could use that here to get a bit of a... It's, it's here. Wait. So... Circles in Minecraft. Yeah, sort of. At least crude wait, circles. Wait, wait, hold on. What? What's a circle? <laughs> what? What blasphemy are you speaking of, good sir? Hmm. This would be more of an oval thing, perhaps. Oh, oh, that's the stairs up there. I really hope that slug, but I would fall and kill you. <laughs> I don't think they're going to fall on their own. Hmm. Let's not have this too big and have it be a, a circle with all sides of equal length ish. Let's see. Okay. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Eleven by eleven. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Okay. Right, it's here you're making your home, or...? What? No, uh, this is for... This is basically going to be a sort of great hall with the dome here. Not, it's not going to be all the way up there, but like from that level on or something. All right, and uh, did you hear that sound? Yep, the a stalactite uh, fell down because I broke the dripstone above it. Like this one is going to be. Yeah, I think you can do that have it land on mobs and kill them probably uh, let's see three five seven something nine eleven and this main area is going to be a bit l-shaped or rather more p-shaped probably work more on this uh, dome off stream because yeah I'd have to keep pull pulling up a circle drawer or something and yeah that would get annoying but yeah I think we'd start I think we'd have the ceiling of this area about start at about that line Probably built uh, something into the corners to help support it. Well, visually support it because it would make, it would look a bit odd otherwise. Hang up some frameworks. Could maybe use the copper for that. Sorry, I wasn't replied to someone. What did you say? Yeah, we, we could use uh, we could use some of the copper for quote unquote reinforcing, so that it wouldn't look like the dome is just floating in the air. 
Yeah, and like like the here, it, it it looks like a good reinforcement for pillars. Like you have a bottom and a top uh, copper with stone between them. As well, they would probably look go very good uh, as a door decoration. Oh, I hear something beating on a wall. Mm. Uh, cut copper. So they're all different variants. <laughs> Bastard. That, that's a very aggressive boy scout. Uh, I've never oh. seen these tiny ones armored. You... Wait, were you just attacked by an undead gnome? <laughs> I guess so. Uh, well, I guess the David the gnome wasn't that happy with us. Well, just wait till they come riding on undead ducks. Wait, th there is undead ducks, right? Mm, don't think so. Not in this game, at least. All right, then. What the heck? Oh, I know they ride duck. Oh, wait, chickens. They, they, chick they have chickens, not ducks here. Yep. Dude, I always say that Minecraft chickens look more like ducks. There's plenty of mods that reskin them to be ducks. You should have ate a little quack. <laughs> you are good. Hmm. Let's go with this area being at this level in the ceiling. Bit of a connecting piece to the higher area. And yeah, let's have a look at how one of these looks. Oh, you can make slabs and stairs of them. Yep. Hmm. I say this one looks more yeah. sturdy. Yeah, that this looks more, more like something you use. Yeah, that more degrade. Like the other one looks more like. Yeah, you, but you have on bottom and top of a pillar. Well, that looks more like something you might have for the door. Hmm. Yeah, that looks decent. Okay. And we are short on <laughs> copper at the moment then, even though we've melted our entire, well, not our entire supply, but a good chunk of it. Yeah, so if we were to make them full pillars, it probably just be pillars, but otherwise, yeah, entire house of copper might be a bad idea. Do, yeah. If we do get enough copper, we could use them to make a copper roof. Or the copper decorations. Now we know that we can make stairs from them and slabs. Maybe. Let's... And I think I can hear one of the neighborhood cats uh, yelling outside. It's the elderly hey, one me. that we feed. That <laughs> we've been feed. We she she's a. She's a greedy little thing, because she typically visits multiple times a day, even when she gets fed an entire packet of food. Hmm. Let's see... Should I start working on the floor already? For now, let's just keep filling it in with uh, cobblestone for the moment. We'll see what colors to use later. I would say you could use it uh, the gravel to fill up there. So you don't have empty space right under you. Yeah, we can deal with that later. Now it's more about the shape of the room. And torches.
to what? I, I listened to some Valheim news recently. No. Seems they're all considering... Well, of course, to add more armor types for different uh, purposes and different uh, combat styles as well. Yeah. And... They are putting on the list on to be able to paint your armor. Okay. <laughs> Probably just so it'd be easy to differentiate, differentiate each other in the combat. Yeah, there's probably some... Uh, there's probably some uh, competitive multiplayer uh, <clears throat> service out there for it. Yeah, they, they're they not going to focus on PvP, actually, luckily enough. Yeah. Yeah, some people are angry for, but I am just happy for... The gameplay is more meant to be cooperative. I yeah, don't you are, see... You are all working to fight... I forget what actually is supposed to be the enemy there. Uh, the elders or yeah, but who something? they work for or something. Yeah, just just PP just doesn't seem to work with it, that game. That doesn't feel like a good mix. There we go. Oh, there's some rails up here they that also, we missed. Almost what? They, they are also planning to add something that would be very useful. Size. Okay, yeah, for <laughs> for harvesting, because that can be an absolute pain in the ass. Yeah. Because you uh, need food to go adventuring, but getting food is annoyingly slow. Yeah, and it definitely be especially good for uh, flax and barley. And they are working on uh, adding just more tools for it, it, just for quality of life and all that. There we go. That's going to be about the outline of this room for now. Hmm. Okay, the only thing you need here, here, but I don't think it's possible, or... Okay, I don't know enough Minecraft, so I'm not sure if it's possible or not. So, a, a mod or... Wait, wait, what are you using here now? Plugins? Yeah. Okay, plugins that would allow you to shrink yourself to a dwarf size. <laughs> then you could definitely go full dwarf. Mostly just plugging holes for a bit. Going to keep that open as an way out. Going to need more torches. Yep. I already have what's needed for that. I think you can get other colored torches. I think I've seen a bit of that. I, th I think the nether, or no, not the nether, the end has blue torches or something. Yeah, and wait, I think you can craft those uh, from using coal and other wood from the nether. Hmm. But they are in the nether, even the blue fires spread about called soul fire. Yeah, uh, soul fire torches, I think, some were called. Hmm. Could probably be a good decorations for the magic room. Mm. Okay, something about those wall wines. I think, I think I heard it was supposed or supposed to grow fruit. Not too sure about that, but for the moment, just to finish this bit up a bit more. There. I yeah, can probably are... put down a brewery stand here or something. Uh, oh, are you open a brewery? <laughs> Not that kind. So, 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 so no bogsman brew? <laughs> no. So, no, no, no troll brew? 
No. Oh. Also, if I remember right, the reason is one of Joseph Bogman's brews is called Trollbane. I think it was... Well, apparently it said it's, the alcohol is so strong it can kill a troll. <laughs> But that says something, considering some trolls eat stone. Yeah. Okay, going to do a bit of an experiment here with how this looks. The red path. It looks kind of nice. Um. And then we try this here. Ah, okay, that's what you're doing. Yeah. It's already dropped here. Yeah. Not there. There. Hmm. That yeah, looks okay. Okay, then I think I'm going to try this through the entire region here. So, yeah, digging out the walls. Ugh. Once you've played uh, modded Minecraft with the hammers, one time you never want to go back to just normal pickaxes. Because the <laughs> hammers dig out uh, a 3x3 three three area. You can even upgrade them to dig out even bigger areas. So, it sounds yeah. Like a, it sounds like a good thing, but also like something that can quickly become a problem. Mm, only if you're, on care if you're not careful with them. Yeah, before we should make one of those special ones we made in the stair room. You know, the massive one, some with torches in this hall. Yeah, we could probably use the amethyst blocks behind them. Let's see, here. Here. Hmm, nah. Okay, we, oh, I probably left them downstairs. I still need to swap them out on the upper half of the staircase. Oh, that was an Enderman. I probably should start hunting those at some point to get their pearls to make eyes of Ender so I can find a fortress. Uh, let's see, Amethyst, there, also probably should bring that along, and this, hmm, let's bring some of the deep slate dust to see how it looks, compared to everything else. And I should probably continue these lines at some point, since, well, they stop here. Okay. Hmm. I actually keep forgetting that you can make wall pieces like that. But for now... Um, we kind of used all of our <clears throat> coal for the torches, but oh well. Just clean out a bit for a moment. 
then amethyst, granite, diorite. Uh, where is the? Oh, there it is, <laughs> andesite. And yeah, that, actually, I'll take these along just if something needs to be blocked. Block for a block. Wait, I think you just realized something. Hmm. I think they are see through. Yeah, I think they were. Let's let's have a test of that. Yeah, like you put the torch on the other side. Right? Yeah, it's reflections. All right. All right, I just could take my reflection then. Otherwise, that could be nice. Can we actually combine these together? Nope. Yeah, not yet, sadly. Okay, continuing on with this work. And I'd like to go grab some gummy worms. Because, well, you know, listen. At least gummy worms taste better than the helium sneeze. There she is. I think I just saw a bat fly by. Okay. Go another pair of these. Maybe I should probably make a shovel as well. Okay, how is this going to look? Um, hmm. Welcome back. Not there. And there. That saves us a little bit on having... Oh, Torva, I have my audio turned off, so I'm just watching. Okay. Unless it was sent out earlier, I don't know. Uh, let's, um, hmm. Do we do something with the passageways? To note them out? Let's let's use, let's save the diorite for more special bits, and instead we mark the the we mark the uh, passageways with like this. Actually, no, that won't stand out against the rest of the wall. But oh well, the, the fact that there is not a wall should probably be enough <laughs> to notify. Could fix something there later, maybe I'm more material. Yeah. Or more the fact that the red line stops here. Okay. Do we do slabs? Uh, 
Okay. Barrow stairs. Okay, continuing on with this then. Maybe one little change here. Um, hmm. Can we mix you slabs? You, know, you, you can make... You can use uh, stairs, upside down stairs there, no? Yeah. Okay, no, that doesn't work. There. Hmm. Yeah, maybe some upside down stairs could be enough, or... or wait. You can make copper slabs. I think so. So combining those at least for the art could be a way to make it uh, look nice. The unsure can make it copper. F no, yeah, it would only work for the upper part. So maybe not the best of ideas. Okay. Just What's a small like a little thing for the moment. I'm going to do the outline first, and then I'll do the rest of the wall. That'll give us at least, uh, yeah, an outline of where we will and won't build for the moment. Yeah, do I suspect our house wall will be a bit different? I'd say this works. All right. Put these back. Okay. Then we work from here. Go. Hmm. Actually, I should probably have this be a, another pillar. So for the moment, let's fill this in with yeah the granite and the andesite instead of copper. Let's leave it be for now. Um, okay. I think we should have it a little bit different at corners like this. I 
for now let's leave it like normal. And yeah, we kind of need to remove these. Actually, we can just dig behind it. Yes, is there something fluffy? <laughs> Still need to dig out those underneath, but it shouldn't break the blocks when we would do that. Screw it. Just to have it match for the moment, or match somewhat for the moment. <laughs> uh, let's see. And yeah, these polished also gives off reflections of the <clears throat> of the torches with Optifine on. That's gonna be good. Put that one down there to mark it as the end of that. Let's see. Oop. Sounds like a visitor. Ran it. Now, where did they sneak in from? You're right. We have Let's a visitor. See. They couldn't have gotten through that. But where are you going? I think it was looking for you. Okay, we have no more of the rocks over here. Let's see if we have any in storage below. Otherwise, we'll start tearing out the walls here. Down, down to Goblin Town. Down, down to Goblin Town. Oh, the food's grown. Uh, blocks of copper. We left those behind before. And the uh, sides. Do you know the group uh, Profoundis? Uh, what? Profoundis. Mm, not a familiar word. Pro just to I, double check, Profoundis? Profoundis. They made a lot of... Uh, in recent, very recently years uh, during the pandemic, a lot of uh, Lord of the Rings stuff and Hobbit is songs okay. related to them, and some of their own as well. Yep. Wrong stuff. Uh, they are made also uh, quite a lot of Dwarven songs as well. Take that and that. The uh, reason I mention is they recently made a new song in honor of the old hobby cartoons and of course of the song they picked was but there's a whip that's a way <laughs> this is originally sung by orcs yeah kind of sounds like them yeah and it is was originally sung during when frodo and pippin were disguising as orcs in Mordor, and it's both that one and the original are surprisingly catchy. In a good way. <laughs> there we go. We are low on granite, though. And I believe we can make carpets with... Okay, not enough. Like Not like that, at least. Oh, there we go. Hmm. We'll see if we nope. can have a use for that. No red carpet? Uh, we can dye it later sometime. <laughs> you know you, you probably want purple carpet. I should probably get uh, 
I could probably should probably get a sugarcane farm started as well, because I don't have any of that. Well, I think I have some in storage, but not actually being grown. I knew you had a sweet tooth. Because without that, we can't really make a map. We can make a compass, but we can't make maps. No. Pardon? Hmm. Yeah, what do we do with this then at the moment? Actually, mm, good question. All right, that looks nice. <laughs> Just to put it aside for the moment. Okay. Let's put these back in. Looks like we have about half an hour left. Yeah, you're right. Aren't sure we go? A lot done or not today? I guess we got a little done today. Now we got our main area here done. Uh, it's a bit more efficient to use these slabs. We can have something built out from there at some point, but not now. Just leave it sealed off for the moment. Okay, I'm going to have to find a way to have, uh, yeah, this and this play nice together with uh, each other. Or just leave it be, mostly. There's not too much difference from the bricks here to the andesites. Yeah, it kind of looks good that way. If the wall was one block forward, we could have this be like the other over there, have it be recessed in, but open at two sides, but yeah, we don't have that. Hmm. That'll do for now. It's a start. Yeah, we can always figure something out later. Now, yeah, let's just fill up the, as much of the walls as we can. So it's going to break any seconds. On <laughs> the last block. Rock on the torch. It wouldn't really do to have stairs on this side as well because it was only leave like a one wide area. Yeah, so... that would look a bit silly. Let's see, can we do this? No, we cannot. We can do this. That's not what I want. 
I'm guessing with the others we can't make walls either. Nope. Can we do it with normal andesite? Oddly enough, yes. Hmm. Well, now we have so we can uh, keep our animals inside of it. Hmm. Looks a bit odd, but I think I'll keep it like this. This one here. I think it would probably just better if you just put a wall under them or blocks under them. I think I'll keep it with this for the moment. Maybe I'll change the, this out for something that's not as raw. Maybe, yeah, just stone, normal stone. Raw? Raw? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. wrong! <laughs> You're not Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, he's actually started a new series. Of, you know, not really started, but he has a new series as well, where he goes to hotels instead of uh, restaurants that are on the brink of collapse. Wait, that's new? Uh, it's uh, been around for almost. a few years, but it's only started airing over here this year. Okay, are you up on YouTube already? Yeah, it's it's called uh, Hotel Hell. And yeah, from the ca from the few episodes that I've seen, it's you it's mostly the same causes as with uh, Hell's Kitchen. In usually it's either like a delusional chef or it's a delusional owner. Sometimes it's even both. Yeah, I've seen some, and I, I usually happen to see when it works out, but good God, I have seen some that there's something, something broken. Yeah. Um, hmm. Got quite a bit of die right now. A lot of diorite, probably because we've used up most of the other. Uh... No. Nah. Yo, Torvar, gotta go. Have fun. Thanks for the stream. Oh, well, thank you for visiting, and see you another time. Be safe, Torvar, and have a good, pleasant evening. Let's see. Actually, we probably should either light this up or fill this up. So that they no monster starts spawning in the walls. And yeah, that would probably be annoying. So you probably should just fill it up with gravel. Oop, that's another pickaxe gone. Yeah, since this matches with the height of the entrance corridors, I think I'll just dig this out as well. Hmm. Maybe we could use the diorite for ceiling work as well. Like, uh, uh upside down stairs? Uh, so more... they're gonna look a bit arced? No, not like that, but more like... Uh... Alright, yeah, that could work. A bit of ceiling art with it and such. Okay, let's see. Really going to need to dig out a lot. I think I'll raise this a bit up. 
We've got keep the indents. I'm going to probably stick something in that. So otherwise it would be a bit of a sharp turn from there all the way to down there. Maybe I'll stick in a bit of uh, wood in there. So down staircases along the edge and then something along the middle. Yep, <laughs> gravel freaking out for a moment. of cave -in. Oh, hello. Thank you. And we're out of andesite again. Actually, let's stick one okay. up there just in case something tries to spawn. Hmm, I just remember something. Oh, right, I forgot that they... <laughs> they start to rust over time. I don't and... think copper rust. Yep, oxidize. Yeah, we should maybe... May, many people like that. If you want them to keep them red and such, you need to polish them. And I'm guessing that's done by breaking them and doing something. No, no, you, you, you need to have them place it out, then polish them. Okay. Let's see. This had led to some people already doing pranks with that, like someone placing out a lot of copper blocks to oxidize. Yeah, someone sneaks over and polish them. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a prank to <laughs> do cleanup duty for somebody. Yeah. And then they still end up wondering, would not it turn green yet? Yeah, what is there must be something. Oh. Uh, nowadays, prank videos and such are just the bane of existence of anyone on the internet. Because, yeah, typically it's just a bunch of assholes being assholes and trying to use an excuse to, well, hide or have it be acceptable that they're being assholes. But they're... Yeah. Over here in the Netherlands, there was a, one pranking show that, that did actually good pranks. And one of the big ones that they pulled off, uh, they, they typically target, like, celebrities. Though This was decades ago, so no celebrities that anyone here would probably recognize, even if they were English or that. Uh, but one prank that they pulled was... Um, I forget who it was on and what profession they were, but the prank that they pulled was that they... Uh, while they were out doing gro they were uh, they whilst they were out doing groceries, they like drive up, park the car, uh, get out, go into the store and such. In the time that uh, he was inside, they swapped his car around uh, with a completely identical one. They even moved over his stuff from his uh, glove compartment and such. Uh, can you guess the one big difference with <laughs> his actual car? I only show what they did there. I'm actually curious. I don't think I can even can guess. Uh, they, <laughs> the steering wheel was on the other side. 
So imagine um, his confusion when he gets back into his car, turns around, moves to put his hands on the, the steering wheel. No steering wheel. That's so mean! <laughs> yeah, he was confused as all fuck. And they, they had some you know, cameras hidden inside to keep an eye on his reaction, of course. <laughs> And yeah, you could see him being confused as all hell, checking the glove box for his stuff. Yes, that's my stuff. Uh, <laughs> and they they left him like that for like five to ten minutes or so before they came out and <laughs> showed the camera. Oh, bloody heck. Yeah, th those mm. were fun, but I also can see what they stopped due to people starting to go out of control. Uh, they didn't. Re they didn't do repeat pranks like that. I think. And yeah, we are out yeah. of Andesite, it seems. So I can say that there has been some prank videos I see that were rather sweet, that I still do. But there are also many that just that are just just basically just uh, pricks for doing. Yeah. I think I was, I was like, what some VTubers, uh, YouTubers, uh, watch some of those, uh, uh, react to some uh, try not to love videos, and just comment that, don't do that to people, that's just rude and all that. Yeah. Or just to, to like, don't do that to people or animals. Maybe we should try one of those try not to laugh yeah, challenges at one point. <laughs> Sure, for, so far, I'm not been, I don't think I, I, yeah, I don't think I've laughed at any of them so far. The only time I actually start laughing or grinning is when the YouTuber themselves are laughing. Yeah. Uh, they, they tend to cut things a bit clo uh, shorter, so, yeah. <clears throat> yeah there, there's a bit of a... A psychological thing with laughing, as in if if one person is laughing, then the other, then others are more likely to follow. It's similar to yawning and that. Hmm, true. And uh, wait, what are you doing? And mostly just digging out where the wall will be going. And yeah, there's a bunch of andesites over here, so I might as well dig that out. It's not going to be enough, probably. But every little bit helps. Now we are getting close to 10 p.m. But yeah, then we can continue playing Home Decorator uh, next week. Uh, yeah, I'll be up for that. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I think I'm going to try and do it on Fridays. Uh, yeah, just so I don't have to try and force it in on the weekend. Uh, on short notice or anything. Yeah, that's probably good for doing it on a Sunday. Like, do it first a stream on the afternoon, then a stream in the evening. That, it isn't that... too bad, but... Yeah, it, we could be left in a bad mood from a bad game on Showcase Sunday. Yeah. Because I've been... I've been, I've been, I've been a long time I had one of those uh, games that was so bad that it left you in a bad mood. Yeah. Luckily but, enough. <laughs> yeah, right, we had some games that refused to work, sure, but not in the bad mood as that water game. Yeah, hydrophobia. And the stupid yeah. thing is, both uh, it, that game has been re-released twice, and both times it just does not fucking work. Yeah, and Ugh. you would expect them to fix the damn most important game-breaking bug, which is at the very end. Yeah. Just before the final boss or something. Not that the... I'm not sure, I probably told this... In the last, in the next video after that, but the ending isn't much to write home about, anyways, and that would have pissed us off on all on its own, because yeah, it, it's basically fade to black, uh, 
yeah, n nothing really happened or something like that. You don't escape the whole place or anything. It's just, yeah, incomplete. Yeah, I guess they went way too much focus on the water physics, physics and forgot to what really matters on games like that. that uh, games like that requires a good story. If you're going to sell it only for impressive water physics, then why even bother with a story at all then? Yeah, stories do really help with things, and it's it's just it's it's not really that it overall it's not really bad. It's just it's been left incomplete since the very start, on almost on purpose, it seems. That is the thing that is yeah, just plain disappointing. That is that's the bigger that's the bigger emotion I'd say I get from uh, that game. Just disappointed. Yeah. Uh, uh, I would not be surprised the reason they not fix that most important bug, if its bug is is unable to be fixed without breaking the game even further. Or just plain laziness. Uh, yeah, the laziness is also an option. Hmm. Let's see, as an example, I'll also probably do this. Oh, we forget. Should we tell them about tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, what specifically you mean? Uh, oh, right. Uh, yeah, I know. I get it. Uh, yeah, about about Escape from Monkey Island. Yeah, we're probably just going to drop it because, yeah, even, I haven't been able to fit, get it to yeah, to work past that game breaking bug. And I get the feeling if I start meddling around in the options and uh, settings, I'll just manage to break it even further. So, yeah, we are giving up on Escape from Monkey Island and moving on to Tales of Monkey Island. Yeah, and also there's another thing, reason like, there's a way to avoid it, but probably is... You won't know if you avoided it until you get to the point again. No, that's restarting the enti entire thing. Yeah, or and even then, there's that game. monkey com there's that monkey combat thing that is completely randomized, which yeah you have to actually write down what uh, everything does, and from what I've no, it's not just a one action leads to one thing. It's a it's a sequence of uh, let's just say cries or shouts or something, which. Yeah, do things to it together, and yeah, I don't know how many of those there are. I don't know how many possible combinations there are, but it's likely a lot more than our nerves would be willing to, yeah, work through. Yeah. So plus that, and have to maybe spend one or two hours each time restarting the entire save just to hope you don't have the bug. Along with, as you may all folks may have noticed, the cut slugginess. Wait, what? Yeah, just to slow down between interactions. Yeah. Like, hmm. th th that game is. It's old and uh, it didn't get enough rework to work with modern computers like the others, it seems. Yeah. Or at least not. Uh... Not in a way that it would actually work with uh, how we, we can actually record and watch it. Though, hmm. There yeah. is one thing. Uh, it's I was I was forcing it to run into in windowed mode, and yeah, since we figured out that I can just Discord share uh, OBS to you instead of the having to get the game working like that. It does mean that I could work on more full screen games like uh, is we're doing now. Yes, yes, I am running this in full screen. All right. Hmm. But yeah, sorry people, no escape from Monkey Island just... It's just not worth the hassle with considering all this slugness and all bugs and maybes and how long it will take. Like, yeah, it is not yeah. worth it. 
I, I'd likely have to spend hours just to rush back to that place to see if the bug is ha has happened or not. And even then, there's yeah the monk the randomized com monkey combat stuff that is actually required for the end, the, the final puzzle. Yeah, but, the, the monkey yeah. stuff is the moldy cherry on top. Wait, wait, was that a good metaphor? Uh, yeah. Hmm. For now, there isn't really much else red we can do with either that or this at the moment. We have only four minutes left. And yeah, yeah <laughs> I don't want to spend the last four minutes of this to, to continue to gripe about a game that sadly just didn't work. They, I've, I've brought this up multiple times, uh, but Ubisoft did it real smart with their jump to 3D, as in... Well, they were going to bring Rayman into you know, 3D on their on, for Rayman 2, but what they instead did, because yeah, they'd never made a 3D game before, is that they made a 3D game in a similar style, but without the actual name and baggage attached to it, which they used as a test uh, subject to see how they could yeah make 3D work. This is, I would say, very smart way to do it. Yeah. Um, I, I, I've never played the game that they made as that uh, test. Uh, it's called Tonic Trouble. And from what I've heard, it isn't actually that good either. But there is just something to be appreciated about it being like... A t basically, the, a sacrificial horse of sorts for a better game to be made. I think you mean sacrificial lamb. Yeah, <laughs> sacrificial lamb. <laughs> but yeah, we'll continue on this some other time. I might actually go mining, and I might actually go mining a lot of andesite off uh, off stream to well get as much as possible of it. And yeah, for now though, let's. Let's actually put down the freaking bed somewhere. And you come along. And just watch and watch it just jump on the bed immediately. Wait, that That looks kinda nice as a bed chamber. Okay, come here you. Yeah, this kinda makes you look royal. <laughs> and of course <laughs> I always got one thing I also heard that they seem to have mentioned they may allow you to change color patterns on the bed as well soon okay I know you can dye them yep but I may do it with the same level details you can do with banners and some shields and capes okay for now, though, yeah. Um, thank you, anyone has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Torva, for <laughs> watching and chatting along a bit. And, of course, thank you as well, Rick, here. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. Um, <clears throat> maybe tomorrow I'll show off a little something. It, now it's not really something special, but I... Um, I was asked about if I had a logo... And well, I didn't. So I'm what the best I had was just a a, <clears throat> a screenshot of my avatar here with uh, Drakir's on the shoulder. Uh, so yeah, I I can't say I've done much of uh, on it, but I have. Yeah, you know, I am making a few attempts at a logo. It's just a simple one, just a uh, an H and a D in the Hillian font from Beyond Good and Evil. Though I'm thinking about adding in a bit of decoration inside of the letters. Uh, I, I, I've already shown it to you, Drakir. I'll just have to think on yeah, a way of spiffing it up a bit more. Because at the moment it is a bit bland with just a black H and a, a blue D partially hidden behind it and poking out from the side. Yeah, it's more like a... Wrong turn C. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just have to take a look at how to fancy that up, perhaps in paint. 
Uh, yeah. But yeah, nothing special. Not, I'm not even sure if I might actually use it or not. Just something I did because I was bored. Well, at least you have a prototype. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll actually see if I ever use that or not. Um, but yeah, for now, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And I don't, uh, I'm messing myself up now. <laughs> Thank you again for watching and have a nice day. Uh, but until next time, then. Still Be safe, up. folks. <laughs> Be safe, folks, and watch out for seagulls and winged rats that breathe fire. <laughs>